All right, uh, this is question 2.10, and you want to calculate this convolution, and from the definition of convolution, we know if we have two signals, say signal x1, t, and x2, t, and we want to calculate the convolution between these two, the convolution equals to the integral from minus infinity to infinity of uh, first signal, x1 tau times t minus tau x2 t minus tau d tau all right so uh, let's let's apply that to this convolution so then y t equals integral from minus infinity to infinity of e to the power of minus a times tau so I replace this one and this one by tau u of tau times and I replace this one by t minus tau and the same here times e to the power of minus b times t minus tau u of t minus tau d tau okay and if I expand this um, I expand this especially these two parts so I can write this one like this mine e to the power of minus b times t e to the power of b times tau okay and considering this I can well, I can write it like this e to the power of minus bt times e to the power of tau times b minus a okay so instead of this three i can write it like this and since this one is not a function of tau this first item i can take it out of the integral Okay, so we have e to the power of uh, what was that? Minus uh, e times t integral of minus infinity to infinity of um, e to the power of b minus a tau times e um, sorry times u. u of tau times u of t minus tau d tau okay well we know that unit step function u tau is either one or zero it is one if tau is larger or larger than or equal to zero and it is zero if tau is smaller than zero okay so that means uh, when, when u tau is zero then this multiplication i mean this all termed three multiplications Will be zero and integral of zero is zero so we can we can write this part like this integral of e to the power of minus bt times from zero to tau because we saw that if tau is below zero the uh, multiplication of these three would be zero so i can ignore that part and just uh, calculate the uh, integral from 0 to tau of these multiplications b minus a times tau and this u tau in this range is 1 so I don't need to read that anymore so this is t minus tau d tau and I can do the same this u of t minus tau is 1 when uh, t minus tau is greater than or equal to zero and it is zero if t minus tau is smaller than zero so let me write it here so u of t minus tau is either one or zero it is one if t minus tau is greater than or equal to zero so that means 
this is this is the case when tau is smaller than or equal to t and it is zero when tau is larger than t okay so from this we can then write this uh, integral in this for in a new format with a new with new boundaries e to the power of minus b times t from 0 to t of e to the power of b minus a times tau and instead of u of t minus tau I can replace that by 1 because we are calculating the integral in this range so this is d tau and integral of from t to infinity of what infinity of e to the power of b minus a tau times zero because this u of t minus tau in that range is zero and we know that the integration over zero is zero so i don't need to read this part okay all right well, let me write it here. We know y tau equals e to the power of minus b, tau, b times t times this integral. And this integral equals 1 over b minus a times e to the power of b minus a tau in two boundaries from 0 to t. So this equals e to the power of b minus and minus b times t times uh, 1 over b minus a times e to the power of b minus a times t minus e to the power of b minus a times 0. We know this is e to the power of 0 and e to the power of 0 is 1. Okay, so I can replace that by 1. Hmm. So if I further simplify this, uh, let me see, that can we erase, can we remove any part of this? But, so let me further simplify uh, this. Here, well, instead of this item, this guy here, I, I write it in this format, e to the power of b times t times e to the power of minus a times t, okay? So we have, we have e to the power of minus b times t divided by b minus a times e to the power of bt times e to the power of minus a t minus 1 okay and if I multiply this if I multiply this to this and to this and to this then we would have 1 over b minus a times b no, I'm sorry e to the power of e to the power of minus bt times e to the power of bt times e to the power of minus at minus e to the power of minus bt okay so these two cancels each other and what is left is e to the power of minus a times t so this equals One over b minus a times e to the power of uh, e to the power of minus a times t minus a times t minus e to the power of minus b times t. 